um, a carrier for my fragrance oils. So I've designed this for the um, larger 50ml bottles and the smaller kind of 10ml bottles. Um, and as usual I'm going to make it more complicated than <laughs> expected, but uh, never mind. So first of all obviously sticking together the, um, the pieces of wood after I've cut them. Um, as I said, the, these, this fit is not great at all, and although I did a bit of sanding, it's probably not enough sanding really. Um, I could have just uh, stuck a sheet of sanding paper down to my table and just done it, sanded it like that, but I was feeling a little um, lazy, so stuck it on the machine. It didn't really help much one way or the other, so oh well, never mind. Okay, and then uh, moving on to. And on the next stage is is covering them, or is, is at least lining them. So um, I was debating whether or not to do to do um, a fabric lining on the inside, but this is quite a uh, complicated, intricate shape. So I've gone with a paper mache with um, music paper. But what I'm doing with paper mache, I'm not doing small pieces. I'm doing large, chunky strips, um, and they're only kind of getting glued at the front and at the back. So they're just kind of slip under um, which is an easy way of covering up naff looking wood really um, so yeah I'm just using um, straight PVA for this or uh, cheap PVA at least so it's that bit thinner anyway so it's pretty much the same as paper mache glue and then we're on to covering the outsides now again I debated painting it or um, even veneer actually if I want for a short period I thought I was going to veneer them but I decided instead to um, go with the PVC. <laughs> it's it's kind of a universal covering material. And this I've just um, kind of padded out with a little bit of felt. Um, in part to hide the bad joints. Um, and also to give it a bit of, a bit of bulk and a bit of body. Because um, PVC itself, it just laying flat, it looks a bit flat. So yeah, giving it a bit of some sort of lining just to give it a bit more strength really. So I kind of went a bit crazy with the pins. Um, I I have on order somewhere um, some small panel pins but they didn't arrive in time for me to start doing this. They actually arrived the day I finished it which is typical but never mind. Um, so I went with drawing pins which aren't classic in terms of um, this kind of work. Um, but they, they do kind of work. The, um, the pin itself is short enough that I can just trim off the tip and it will go through the ply and not actually into the box itself. Um, or I can leave it long if I'm um, going through multiple layers of, of PVC and, and whatnot. So that's fine. They, they look okay. Um, I think I got a little bit kind of carried away with the spacing on one of the sides of the boxes and that looks really really messy <laughs> but it's on there now I can't do anything about it um, the other problem with PVC is it it scars if you um, make a hole or anything like that then you have to either cover up the hole or live with it so I'm living with it <clears throat> so yeah I covered uh, around the outside um, with a strip with the line with the felt lining and then basically just pinned a bit onto the back or the, uh, the, the yeah or I call it the back really. <laughs> so there are four of these um, and my initial um, idea was to make kind of a double folding out kind of rack thing like a, a W shape so that I would have three clasps and then I could open it all the way out which was a good idea to start with but the difference in width between the two um, parts makes putting the hinge on almost impossible because um, it would frankly not have anywhere to go with an outlet where the screws wouldn't be going into solid wood so yeah <laughs> I, I dabbled with um, a PVC hinge and tried to work that in and for whatever reason my, my brain would not compute and I ended up doing four or five different variations trying to get the right way round so in the end I did that and it still didn't look right so I've, I've um, decided to go for two separate um, racks instead. So I think that's a better idea actually so that when I'm 
I've used up a lot of my, my uh, fragrance oils, I can just reduce down to one box rather than carrying the whole thing around. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've, uh, up until this point I've been um, carrying and keeping my uh, fragrance bottles lying down in a box, which is not ideal because um, some of them have leaked. So this way I can actually, I've got a carry handle on these, um, which doesn't look great, but I've run out of um, PVC, <laughs> or not PVC, out of um, black webbing, so I've ended up using blue webbing, but never mind. So now I've got um, two container, two um, carryable holders that latch together at the top, fold out and hold on to all of my fragrance oils. So this is the completed articles. Well, these are the completed articles. Um, I've put some felt in the bottom of the shelves just to stop these from rattling too much. Um, they're mostly plastic bottles anyway, so it's not that big a problem. I've only got three glass ones up here. Oh, I've got a couple of other glass ones, but they're only they're not rattling too much. Um, I think I need to put a wedge or something down the side here just to make sure that they don't rattle again. Um, just kind of wedge them in a bit. I don't know if I will do that or not, but anyway. And I also need to do make a little pad to sit in between them because um, when this is moving these kind of slip out and fall into the middle and kind of leap out at me when I open it. So that's the other one. So I'll just put together some just fold it up a bit of bubble wrap just to hold these. Now the difficulty with kind of the geometry and the planning of this is that I had a square 50mm and a round 50mm and a selection of 10 and 15 mil bottles to contain essentially. So my gap at the bottom here is just, it's a half a mil wider than the round bottles, which means that it is about a centimetre uh, wider than the flat ones. So they fit okay. There's a, a bit of wobble, so I'm gonna have to put some sort of padding in there to stop them completely wobbling. Although, they're not going to go particularly far, I don't think. They're going to mostly sit upstairs until I'm ready to use them. Because I don't want to put them... I don't want to have these fragrance oils um, down here in the shed over winter, really. Because I'm not sure how the oils themselves will react to being cold, essentially. Um, I found that with the oils I've got in the rack over there that my liquid oils, my um, sweet almond um, oils and olive oil start to start to freeze I suppose, or separate that and start to have kind of solid bits in them which isn't ideal for soap making. So the idea is here these are slightly insulated by having felt on them so they can stay down here when it's cool but when it's cold they can go and sit at the top of my wardrobe and be quite safe indoors which is a better idea and also when when we have hotter weather as well. These sitting in my bedroom, <laughs> not ideal again because my bedroom was getting three or four degrees hotter than it was actually outside. So yeah. So these are generally as I want them. Um, I need to replace my handles here because this is just some blue webbing. Um, I've got some black webbing on, on order and again I'm waiting for it to come in. Um, so I will, I'll knock those that in. Um, when that arrives, just so it matches in, really. Um, I have a small issue with the hinges, being that I didn't have any brass ones, so these are silver. So at some point I will replace those with some fancy brass um, hinges, but for the minute that's fine. I'm okay with that. And I'm still not entirely sure about what I've put on the sides here, so I've just got the felt and then the PVC just pinned on. There's no glue holding this on. So that might need to change at a later date. But as for now, I am fairly happy with this. And at the minute I've got all the unopened fragrance oils on this side and all the opened ones on this side. So that um, I know if I'm looking for something new that I haven't used before, it'll be in this one. If I'm looking to repeat something or find something I've already used in that one. So yeah. I am fairly happy with how this has turned out. 
Um, I would have liked to be able to hinge it together here. The original plan was to have something like that so that I could open it either end or not and it would just all fold down like this. But that on its own is quite hefty. <laughs> so I don't think that's such a good idea. Um, and again, as I said, trying to get hinge to work here where I've got this um, thickness of material didn't really work. So, oops, um, for the minute at least, these can stay separate. Um, and I can continue my journey in soap making. So I expect to be able to reduce these down to one box um, because I'm only going to be doing um, five or six soaps next year so I don't need this huge stock so I'll try and get rid of the stock and reduce so I can kind of semi-retire one box and keep using the other which I think will be a better bet. But for now that is this um, squash oil project completed. Um, it's not terribly pretty, it's really really chunky and a bit more goth than I, I normally go for. Um, I'm not entirely sure how the paper's going to react if I have a leak, but I'm hoping that now this is, is all standing upright and they'll be stored upright that I won't have any leaks, so I'm hoping to protect one from the other. Um, this is a simple paper mache, it's just paper laid on and then kind of glued and then wiped over with glue. Um, so there's no actual finish on the paper here, so if I do have a leak, it's going to leak and soak in. But I hope I won't have a leak at this point. Um, I think having had these lay, uh, laying down in a box for a while, any, any that were going to leak would have leaked by now. So I should be pretty safe on that. So, as it is, I am fairly happy with these. Oops, I've got to put my pads back in again. So yeah, these will be sitting up. Uh, or over there for a little while and then come the end of September probably they'll go upstairs and sit in on top of my wardrobe. So I'll change these over as soon as I get some my webbing through and I'll think about the sides. So that is my fragrance uh, bottle holder project completed. And I'll see you again next week.